Coronation Street has left viewers gripped recently with the missing Lauren Bolton case but some fans have been left confused over Eicropper's arrest, pointing out a plot hole. Coronation Street has left viewers gripped recently with the missing Lauren Bolton case. Only recently, Roy Cropper found himself charged with the murder of missing teenager Lauren despite being innocent and things are only going to get worse for him next week. However, some fans have been left confused over Roy's arrest, pointing out a plot hole. Viewers have pointed out that currently there is no body for Lauren and they have asked how Roy can be charged for Lauren's murder with no body. Addressing the plot hole on Tuesday's Good Morning Britain, Richard Arnold asked several of the Cobbles stars this very question. Richard, 54, spoke to Alison King, who plays Carla Connor, Colson Smith, who plays PC Craig Tinker, and Sally Diniver, who plays Sally Metcalf, as they all wore t-shirts in support of Roy amid a campaign to free the legendary character after his wrongful arrest and charge. However, host Ed Balls wasn't convinced as he asked, Are we definitely sure he's innocent, Richard? Are we sure? To which Richard responded with, He's definitely innocent. Edward, honestly, of course he's innocent. Mind you, they've not found a body. He's definitely innocent. I was saying to the guys, but Terry Snowbody, how have they accused him of murder? Someone pointed out to me, if you've seen enough episodes of Vera then you know that you don't necessarily need a body to get someone in the slammer. This prompted actor Colson to quip, when you've got Craig running the police, it's not hard to not find a body is it? Poor Craig. Roy could find himself tricked into confessing to Lauren's murder in a sick twist next week. In upcoming scenes, Sam Blakeman promises Nina Lucas that he will walk Freddy the dog before school. As Sam heads out, unbeknown to him, a sleuth watches from a table in the corner and later a distraught Sam returns without Freddy, explaining he ran off. As Evelyn Plummer watches over the cafe, Nina and Stoyle Battersby head out to look for Freddy. Back at the cafe, Nina, Ashley and Evelyn watch a video uploaded by the internet sleuths terrorizing Roy, showing that they've taken Freddy hostage and to secure his safe return, Roy must confess to Lauren's murder in a sick twist. Later in the week, Asher confides in Oddie that she's had a response from the troll behind the video and she's arranged to meet him in the precinct as Oddie offers to go with her as backup. Meanwhile, Evelyn calls at the cafe with some missing Freddy posters and a birthday card for Nina. As part of Nina's birthday, Roy phones the cafe to wish Nina a happy birthday and Nina makes out that Freddy is fine and assures him that Dee Dee is doing everything to secure his release. Later, Asher arrives at the precinct but Terry no sign of Oddie as he's had to help Amy and he fails to notice Asher's missed calls. It's not long until True Man and his sidekick, Banditman, reveal themselves and start asking awkward questions to a scared Asher. Is Asher in danger and where's Freddy?